Welcome to our headquarters in the Netherlands. The fiber, Dyneema, was actually invented just a few meters away from the, where we stand now. After its invention, the leading rope manufacturers have been using Dyneema as a core fiber for their mooring ropes. And countless vessels have been using Dyneema in their moorings. This video series summarizes the four factors that you have to consider when choosing your mooring rope. Resistance to fatigue, abrasion, creep, and high and low temperatures. It also shows the differences between the Dyneema SK78 and generic HMPE. We get a lot of questions about the use of Dyneema at uh, higher ambient temperatures. So that's the fourth element that you have to consider when choosing your mooring line. Low temperatures are actually no problem at all for uh, Dyneema. But the, the doubts that people have are more focused around higher temperatures. When you look at the main vessel categories that use Dyneema mooring ropes, uh, the LNG vessels, tankers, a lot of them are moored more and more around the equator. Singapore, Middle East, West Africa. So our research has always focused around the behavior of those mooring ropes under those conditions. Higher environmental conditions combined with higher loads and uh, abrasion forces will increase the core temperatures of a mooring rope. We believe in facts and therefore we have done a lot of testing under those conditions and the results of those testing we have loaded into a rope temperature model. And by using that temperature model, we can ensure reliable operations of uh, mooring lines with Dyneema anywhere in the world. When the rope gets warmer, the fiber strength will slightly decrease. A rope made out of Dyneema SK78 can easily withstand core temperatures of 70 degrees or higher for shorter durations. When the fiber gets warmer, it will temporarily lose a part of its strength, a slight part of its strength. SK78 has been proven to regain the highest percentage of its original strength under higher ambient temperatures. And when the uh, rope cools down, the fiber will regain its original properties and no permanent damage will have occurred to the fiber. The model we use is based on extensive testing. Here you can see a picture of a fairly debrasion test at TTI in the UK, where we have mounted thermocouples inside the core of the rope. And we are testing these ropes under different tension levels, ambient temperatures and fatigue loads. Knowing the exact core temperature of your rope is very important for large diameter offshore ropes, for example. Crane ropes are often cycled intensively in active heave compensation mode. And the core temperature of a rope will then increase significantly. So having a model that predicts that core temperature is extremely powerful to demonstrate the safe use of Dyneema even under those extreme conditions. We don't see these intensive conditions in mooring. But we can use the model to increase the knowledge about what happens inside the rope and by that improve and increase the reliability of mooring operations with Dyneema. A practical example of the use of this model is in this case study. In the case study, uh, LNG tankers, tanker travels back and forth between the Middle East, Ras Lafan, and the UK. It travels back and forth about eight times a year and is faced with a long swell condition in the Middle East once a year and a storm condition at the other end of its voyage in the UK. The extreme condition for fatigue loads is the long swell in the Middle East, as it is combined with high ambient temperatures. In this case study, the year-long average ambient temperature during the day is taken at 31 degrees, and it's 22 degrees at night. In the long swell condition, the mean load is 25%, and the amplitude is 10. These temperature and fatigue loads result in a daytime rope core temperature of 51 degrees Celsius. The other three mooring conditions, one in the Middle East and the two in the UK, one benign, one storm, 
also have their average tangents and amplitudes. And from that, uh, the total life of the mooring rope can be calculated. For a mooring rope built out of SK78 fiber, the calculated lifetime under these conditions is in excess of 15 years. For a rope made with generic HMPE, it would be anywhere between 5 and 8, depending on the exact HMPE fiber type. From this case study, we can draw a twofold conclusion. First of all, by having models available that can calculate the effect of conditions, you can increase the reliability of your mooring ropes. And secondly, it also shows the superior performance of the SK78 fiber over more generic HMP fibers. And in case the conditions of mooring are even more severe, when the rope core temperatures go, uh, reach 70 degrees Celsius or even higher, again, that is no issue for SK78. Another question we often get is what happens to a rope when it touches a hot surface, for example, during daytime in the Middle East. A rope with Dyneema will transfer heat away from its source similar to steel wire, and you can actually feel that because it feels cold to the touch. A rope out of polyester will not feel cold. In the following simulation, a rope touches a metal block at 60 degrees Celsius, simulating a hot fair lead in the sun. The ambient temperature is at 30. The model shows that a part of the outer surface of the rope rises in temperature, but it's limited to a small part. The effect is local, as the temperature increase disappears only centimeters away from the hot surface. Through this study, we establish that a rope made with SK78 can easily withstand core temperatures of 70 degrees Celsius or higher for shorter periods. And after cooling down, the fiber will have regained all of its original properties. There will be no permanent damage to the fiber. Secondly, while at higher temperatures, a rope built out of uh, SK78 will maintain a higher percentage of its original strength compared to a rope built out of a generic fiber. In other words, you will maintain more of its original strength in a mooring rope built out of SK78 versus a generic. It shows that a rope with SK78 has a superior service life and the highest reliability over generic HMPE. The longer service life means that over the lifetime of your vessel, you will be using fewer materials, less resources for your mooring ropes. Dyneema fiber is made using 100% renewable electricity. If you want to further reduce your carbon footprint, you can choose the bio-based alternative Dyneema fiber. And last but not least, we have established an industry coalition with our major rope manufacturers to develop a closed-group recycling route for Dyneema fiber.